Today we're going to be showing you the intake temperature sensor on the R34 GTR and how to swap that out. Now this is on a V-Spec model. Now as you can see here, this is the intake temperature sensor. Um, when the car is in the ignition, you can see it's already up to 51 degrees Celsius and uh, should be a lot lower stock. So we noticed it was running a lot high. We swap the sensor out and uh, fix the issue. So we're going to go ahead and show you what we need to do to get that and the part numbers required as well. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and change the intake temperature sensor on the front mount intercooler. And what's really cool is we're going to show you where it's located. So up in here, right there, that little plug, that is your air intake temperature sensor. So this little plug right here. And as you can see, if you go in right there, the little wires, those two bolts right there, that's what we have to unscrew and put the new sensor in. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out now. And uh, to get it off, we're gonna have to take these bolts right here and then take this off, take off the front mount intercooler and start doing that. All right. One other uh, thing I forgot to tell you, right here, there's a this little bracket. Take that off. This is what's gonna hold the front mount intercooler in on these two little spots. So we got, that out on both sides and now we had disconnected the plug we're about to take the front mount intercooler off and then swap out that sensor which is this part number right here so in here yeah, there we go so that's what we're going to replace all right all right guys so we got the new one in um we broke the bottom uh screw and uh, let me show you what it looks like here yeah that thing was fucking stripped we had to get the uh dremel and then drill a hole in it make it a flathead flat it's crazy yeah, we got it and uh we found the same size bolt once again we used a fuel filter little uh clamp now we only took the left side out I'm just gonna push this back up in and uh, we'll get it back in here in a second. All right, guys, so right now we got the strut towers off. We are gonna be swapping out the fuel filter. And uh, that's one of the things that we wanna do. Here's the part number right here, if you guys are interested in getting one for your RB26. But yeah, we gotta take the top fuel hose off, the bottom fuel hose, and uh, Go ahead and get that swapped out. So we gotta take this bracket off first, which is two bolts right here. One, two. Once we get that out, go ahead and put the new one on. So we got the new filter in. Just gotta take that screw and, and clamp that up. Sled one's holding the top one. We're gonna take this line out, put it on the top of that, and then screw that in. Right now he's holding the bottom because it's spraying gasoline. Um, if we don't otherwise, so gonna put this back on and tighten her up should be good to go new fuel filter so we are just shaking the fuel filter and you can see that is all fuel but dirt also coming out from this old fuel filter it is crazy now that's probably not going through your your engine all the time but just think of like if that fuel filter it's like getting cleaned out how much 20, dirt 20 years of just who knows when that was last changed who knows 20. so we are over here now onto the red v-spec and we are taking off the hks uh, what are these hks things mike do it what are these things this is your uh manual boost controller yeah so Got to get that out. We're going to take the fuel filter out on this one too, swap that out, and uh, clean up the car a little bit. All right, guys. So this is the before, uh, before we started cleaning, and the after of the under trays. Um, these definitely clean up really well. You def anytime you have the front bumper off, you want to get all these areas nice and clean. Um, after you know months of dirt and dust and junk, it's it's crazy. 
Thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for this next episode where we clean the undercarriage of the R34 GTR V-Spec. If you guys want to see a bunch of content, hit that like button. Let us know. It's all coming your way, baby.